All right, little frogs, welcome to video number two. Uh, this one's going to look a little bit different than the first one I did, which was me running around all over the library and showing you how to get up here and all that kind of thing. And you're welcome to check that one out. Today, I want to show you the website. This is the library website, newly, freshly redesigned. Okay, so here's our website, Mary Couts Burnett Library website, right here. First thing I want you to see is that these are both clickable, so you can get back to the main web page at any time clicking on this. You can get to the main TCU site clicking on this. Uh, these are all clickable tabs, and they start with Frog Scholar. That is the uh, discovery tool that we have. It shows you access to everything that we even you know remotely subscribe to, have some sort of access to, clickable for you to get to. This is a really broad tool and not one that I recommend for musicians. Um, usually what you are looking for is whatever your voice teacher has assigned you to sing, uh, whatever your piano faculty member has asked you to learn for your next recital. So Frog Scholar is not for that. Frog Scholar is for you starting your music history paper on the uh, various colors of Beethoven's pants and how that might have influenced um, the key that he picked for his next symphony. I don't know. Whether it's Beethoven's letters, documentary about Beethoven, um, maybe his sketchbooks. So that's what Frog Scholar is for. Our databases, that's the next tab right here. And you can see that you can browse them by title. You can also browse by subject or topic, which if you did this, it would show you music. You just do that, scroll down, music. Click on that, click go, and it will take you to the music database listing. You can go to the library catalog. This particular screen is not one I recommend because it's just so broad. So instead, what I recommend is you click on that search button and this will take you to where you can do uh, in what in my mind is a, is a better way of searching. I'm a visual person and so I like having all of these fields out here to help me search. Okay, back to the home page. Uh, our next tab, these are our research guides. All of the subject specialists have research guides that they have made for you to help you figure out for your classes what's going to help you the best. And so what you can do is you go to a particular subject. Here's music, but you can see there's all kinds of different uh, disciplines here. And so you can go to music and click go and that will take you to where the music research guides are here and i'll also make a video about that how to use that back to the library site and then you can go to lib answers faq these are the frequently asked questions you've got a question about our hours accessibility how does ill work how do i check out a video all that kind of stuff you can type in your question here and chances are we've probably already got an answer put together um, if you've got a specific music question, you'll want to email me directly. Um, if you just do the chat function, that's going to take you to the reference librarians downstairs. Several of them are musically trained, so they might be able to help you. But if you've got something really specific music related or music library related, email me and then I can help you directly. 